mystery parcels sometimes abound and this one brought to gear challenge by way of one or two stops I understand that um, this originated from Tennessee forwarded to yours truly and not that we really need such a brutal instrument <laughs> as the um, Strider folder to get this open, but uh, well, it just happened to be what was in the pocket at the time. So this is a Huckleberry Wood Chuck package, as evidenced by the Telltale logo, paper wrap, nice twine packaging, and uh, looks like got a Huckleberry Woodchuck sticker and you know how it is. Stickers are always fun. So we'll just leave that there. Got a little bit of a extra reflection. So not so bad there. And these are probably proof of um, proof cards you might say. Be interesting to see what uh, friend had forwarded. Yeah, so these will be the Huckleberry Woodchuck proof cards with uh, some data. Date of manufacture or date of construction, some material, and uh, some notes. Three, 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 one, one. I think that this would be numbers that were made. Probably, you know, there's a one, one, probably meaning one of one. This is uh, three, three. Over here, probably meaning three of three. So, without further ado, uh, wow, looks like there's, I, I, I was figuring that there were two in here, but uh, um, looks like perhaps a bit more. And as usual, the blade dices through packaging material quite effortlessly, effortlessly, let's try and get that out. Okay, very nice. Well, okay, wow, there's not two in here, there's three in this packaging. Um, I am going to hazard a guess that this one that says chicken wire is probably this handkerchief. And Huckleberry Woodchuck makes a double-lined or a double material uh, handkerchief. I have several. I have several from other manufacturers as well. The Huckleberry Woodchuck has a, a tag that they have stitch on to every one that I've ever had. And there seems to also be a, a regular construction method where there's lining around the edges. There is a, a tack bar. I believe that's what this would be called here. And in this case we have two tack bars on opposite corners with a diagonal uh, cross stitch of some type through the center. Since this is the same pattern on both sides, it's kind of nice. Uh, in my experience, usually it's one pattern on each side. This would be the proverbial <laughs> chicken wire pattern, as evidenced by this card. So we'll set this aside. Next on this list, and uh, quite appropriate, you might say, for some recent activity. We have some koi fish. Again, it's a double material, in this case opposites, you could say. And the color koi pattern here is if you're looking down onto a pond, very much like you're looking down onto a pond with lilies and chrysanthemums or whatever these flowers might be. I have a dragonfly here and there very appropriate, obviously a good choice. And we have the bar tacking on opposite corners with the diagonal uh, stitching through the center. And on this side, golden koi. Again, uh, looking a bit like you're looking down into a pond, into a koi pond. Let's, uh, okay, here we go, big koi. So it's got to be what this one here is. The big koi with gold koi. And of course what they do is they do opposites on the material. Big koi, gold koi, sh showing you what each side might be. 
Um, and then this is a very appropriate pattern as well. Okay, wow, boom. I can remember, <laughs> I remember some ties like that at one time. We're seeing some ties like that at one time. We have an arrow pattern. And yeah, we do have the bar tacking. Horizontal st uh, stitch pattern through the center to keep uh, everything together in spite of washing and, and use. Matter of fact, I can't even... Yeah, I can't. You can see that you can kind of pull this, the two uh, pattern or the two uh, panels apart because, you know, it's a bit of a hollow core. Of course, with the stitching here, it's in between. And this is quite attractive, beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, with the uh, identifier tab. And this pattern here is just really, I can see that just popping on a solid suit. Well, like I know fashion. And that would be the blue arrows and diamonds. And again, we've got uh, two of two, so it looks like maybe we've had two of these made. Uh, blue diamond, or blue arrows, diamond, and uh, a manufacturing date, and using white thread. So, uh, it's packaged just by way of uh, subtraction. We've got two here. Wow. And uh, here we go with some stunning pieces. Let's see if I can guess this. This must be the Okay, we've got a similar, yeah, identical to this other, other pattern here. The one panel side has this koi, color koi, pond rendition. And then this flip side has a, wow, uh, Mateo Honey V Corn, I can't make out the print, bright koi print on the opposite side. Painting koi with circles. I think that that's probably what this note is. Yeah, we've got circles, the koi, absolutely gorgeous and stunning. I can I can see that popping with the appropriate uh, attire as well. And so let's burn through this. Last but not least, definitely probably not not least because this says this is a hand printed by Melissa Everett, number two. So this will be a one of one. We've got the gray side here, a um, I don't know, salmon or an orange-like color. And then this uh, very, uh, uh, very Asian-themed, or uh, you might even say oriental style, since oriental is a style uh, of, uh, it looks like, it's reminiscent of woodblock prints to me. And I could be wrong, but that's uh, just what it, it's reminiscent of. And again, we've got the Huckleberry Woodchuck tab. Even on this side, this really pops with all the color. And I can just see using this as a pocket square. Probably the side out. Be nice to get that flipped without the tab showing, but uh, I don't see that green, this green circle stamp showing up anywhere else, perhaps on this side here. So, you know, you have that in your pocket square. really pops. In any event, very nice surprise upon return. And uh, apparently proof of standards card, if you will, from Huckle Huckleberry Woodchuck. And uh, thank you very much. Enjoy.